A game to whet the appetite. A match certain to entertain and enthrall. But the big question is, who has the qualities necessary to succeed? There is so much on the line. Stay right here. We'll have every kick of the ball from the Juventus Stadium on EA TV. Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's the opening contest for the two teams in this Champions League season. It's Juventus up against Aston Villa. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Starting lineup for Juventus. Bremer plays alongside Federico Gatti in central defense. Douglas Luis plays alongside Manuel Locatelli in the center of midfield. And the striker today is Dusan Vlaovic. Starting 11 for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Digne in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays alongside Bubakar Kamara in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. a fantastic tackle Tielemans and Cash with it Leon Bailey who can he pick out and the shot just over the top of Dusan Vlaovic in this game. What might he contribute as far as this match is concerned? Well, he's big, strong and powerful, which will make it hard for the defenders to go. When he gets everything right, he's almost that way.
chance to open the scoring here. And confidently convert it. Well, here it is again. He makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish. has restarted, 1-0 here Morgan Rogers it's with Camara back to Dean counter attacking chance way up be sufficiently imaginative a very effective clearance using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Yildiz space galore for Juventus and water there following the cross Here it is again, first to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Now this can be productive. Corner conceded, another fussy clearance. Who can he pick out? Well, not away properly. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Tielemans. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Rogers. At times they make passing look easy. But then the one that goes astray. Turan released it nicely. Options in the middle. Tremendously strong in the tackle. the 
ball. What can they do from here? Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available to snap onto it. Up the opposition here. High quality defending. Bailey. On to McGinn. Tielemans. Well, it's a good looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Yildiz. all the stoppages two minutes to be added on Tielemans Ollie Watkins and with that the first half comes to an end here in Turin well he's been the standout for a side so far don't you think Stuart well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on... Underway then in the second half. The two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Look at Dinia. Holly Watkins. Well, the cross didn't get past the first defender. Rogers. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. You then just keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, as you can see, the Juventus are certainly creating enough chances, but their finishing just hasn't been good enough. But you do sense a goal is coming now. John again. Bubakar Kamara. On to Rogers. game plan his side is struggling now well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand Locatelli it's with Douglas Luiz Ryan, that final pass you just feel and there the move ends for now Torres. Here is Dinia. Watkins. Here is Tielemans. And showing fine vision. And he 
apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. And he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Timothy Weyer. Dusan Vlahovic. Decent-looking attack, this. Ball played nicely. Well, passing moves like this will build confidence. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. to come on to them not afraid of that moving the ball forward how creative can they be and let's give credit to the defending well maybe a good position from which to counter Vlaovic will he shoot the fans hope so oh maybe the equaliser the corner to Juventus and they need to make something happen it's a substitution for Juventus opportunity to level matters and slot it home well his heart might have been fluttering but he didn't show it a goal from the spot well here we can see it again keeper's gone the wrong way and it makes for a fairly easy finish in the end that's how to take a spot kick Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Locatelli. Douglas Luiz. He read the situation defensively and did his job. again here's Bailey all even but will it stay that way well it came to nothing in the end Milik Bailey and Cash with it the attacking options appear plentiful and he's broken for you're going to see again and again and again. And the Juventus 
personnel change here. And take it short. Snuffing out in the cross there. The referee blows for a bow. Stadium. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Douglas Luiz. And the fans really want him to shoot. Bailey. Possession lost by Villa. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Milik, Braubic, here's Matty Cash, that is that after 90 minutes, they are level and extra time is coming up.